Harry Smith, American, in the year of 1942. In another day and age, the name might have been Betsy Ross, Clara Barton, Amelia Earhart. Theirs was the determination and high purpose that America was a land to live for, to work for, if need be, to die for. Mary Smith is that kind of an American. Today, Mary Smith is a symbol of thousands upon thousands of American women who, like the unsung heroines of every generation of our history, have come forward in time of need. Fingers and hands that ply the knitting needles are turning their deafness to wing assembly. Hands that had toiled not, nor spun, are taking up the torch of the welder. Here is recognition of danger and the courage to do something about it. The pioneer woman was that kind of an American. She didn't reckon the cost where America's welfare was concerned. She didn't wait for the other person to do the job. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness were words that meant something to her. They stood for what she believed in. She wanted them for her children and all the children of America who were to follow. That's the heritage we who can must work to save. It's our sacred duty. That's the way we feel about it around here. We're building planes for the Navy. What we're doing isn't just a job. It's a trust and an obligation we owe to those out there battling for our cause. I used to be a librarian. Jim and I were going to be married this spring. He was stationed at Pearl Harbor. Somehow books didn't seem to have the same importance after that. Nothing seemed important except winning the war. That's why I'm trying to help. I lost Jim. I don't want to lose America too. America doesn't want to lose its Mary Smiths. It needs them. It needs their faith and their will to win. It needs the spark and the inspiration of these million or more women working in our Warcraft factories. It needs their realization that all of us must work now for liberty and work with all our hearts and all our minds and all our physical being. It means we've got to sacrifice our time, our money, our gains, whatever they may be, or sacrifice America. No part-time effort can achieve all-out victory. That total job for America will require the greatest armed force in the history of the nation. It's going to take manpower beyond all estimates of the original need. To replace these men in vital war production jobs is an essential duty that will have to be assumed by the women of the country. On it may well depend the winning of the war. Can it be done? If you don't think so, you don't know American women. We know they won't fail. They know this is a war of survival. They know we must conquer. All of us must conquer. Or all of us must die. Those of us who can fight, must fight. Those who can work, must work. To do less is to fail the uncounted Americans who are dying that we may live in the kind of world we want. Bataan, Corregidor are crying to be avenged. The blood-drenched sands of the Solomons beckon us on. Wake, Midway, the Coral Sea, Tulaki. The goal lies beyond. Americans, what is your answer? Victory! baby. It looks like they need you out there. We've given you everything we've got. Good luck. Maybe plain the time has come to go. Fly away, meet the foe. Maybe
be plain, it's time to do or die. Do your stuff, old pal, swing high. Swing high for the Navy. Sweep the sky for the red, white, and blue. Swing high for the Navy, for the Navy depends on you. Fly away to your place in the sun. There's a job to be done, there's a war to be won. Swing high, sweet chariot, join your in the sky, swing high, join your mates in the sky, swing high. We will die for the Navy, swing the sky for the red, white, and blue, swing high. Make this one for Jim. Boy, the 